All right, we have been up since 4.30. We gotta love jet lag. It's horrible. So, but we're using it to our advantage to get to the sites early. So it's now eight. We are walking to the metro. We're it gonna try like our first turkey. Really late. It really is really early. I know. We're gonna try to use the metro system here in Turkey for the first time. And then we are going to all the major sites today. So we're gonna see the Hagia Sophia, um, Blue Mosque, and stuff like that. <laughs> from Starbucks. Because it's the cheapest Starbucks place in the world. Five drinks for $12. Which in Switzerland is like one drink. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, we tracked down the machine to give you the cards. Oh, no, I need it a track. It goes very really fast. It doesn't give you much time to think through things. Four, four and it three. doesn't seem to really have an English setting. Three. So we've been Google three. translating it. Three. <laughs> And we're trying to figure it out. <laughs> Oh, so true. Okay, it says the pretzel um, bagel, bagel, but more bready. Yeah. And um, like the fruit is yeah. Great little like portable it. snack. Huh? So we think this is it, but we're not sure. But the whole area is beautiful. the Basilica Cistern, and cistern means a take for storing water, and it was built 1500, right? Or years ago. Yeah, years ago. Yeah? A really long time. Yeah, I'm excited. It looks Look at it. amazing. It smells cool. It smells like snow. Yeah, what does it smell like? Like water. Yeah, like underground water. Wow, look at this. This is incredible. Okay, so we read some more. And apparently this was originally built by Justinian in the 6th century. And it is, it's just to store water and then distribute it to the palace and surrounding areas. And then at one point it was the only source of water for the whole area yeah. was right here. And Claire said she read that it's also all the fountains around the, that we've been seeing, the marble fountains, that the That's water it said, would go to those to, to, to the people to take to their houses. But what a structure, like why build, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's so incredible. Or 300, 380. And then it eventually became this. And they did some stuff in like the 1500s to try to study it. They still don't know how massive it is, I guess. How much did it cost to get in? <laughs> I don't know. They you don't know that either? It doesn't say. No, I'm saying how much did it cost to get in? Oh, uh, 1500. Which is how much? built about the same time, right? In the 6th century. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the top, it's the same sort of brickwork as the tunnels to coming down yeah, the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they bend those bricks with the mortar. It's so cool. Yeah, how do they bend bricks? Well, I mean, like, they <laughs> stack them <laughs> so that it... That it does, like, it does that. bend. I was saying, like, the tower, you know? And I was like, how, how do they bend? bend? They're, They're just, like, so strong. Oh, that's funny. Mm -hmm. Look, look at the shadow, honey. Did you see that down there? It's like, um, like Medusa. Medusa. Yeah. 
That's cool. It's for this nice thing. It's Medusa's head. Yeah, she's like with this. That's cool. All right, so the Hagia Sophia, the current structure. So there was originally a structure here in the 400s, eight, uh, no, BC, but it burnt down uh, in the Ottomans' conquest. But the current structure was built by Justinian in the 500s um, as the largest Christian church in the world. And just recently, I think Mike said in 2020, it became a mosque. Before that, they were using it as a museum. Pretty cool. I love these. <laughs> You're going to wear one all the time now? Yes, around Turkey. So a long time ago, they were trying to figure out how to get people to come to church, um, like letting them know, like, hey, service is going to start. And so that's where they called a prayer game because they, uh, the Muslims realized they couldn't use bells because that's what Christians were using. And the Jews always blew a horn. Mm. Um, so then they figured out a way to, well, let's just have somebody yell it. Huh. So that's what they called. Now it's obviously sing it every time. Like, oh, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. interesting. Very yeah. interesting. Wow. Yeah. Look at those ceilings, huh? Huh? They're very cool. They're very, very cool. cool. It feels oh like my gosh. Really cool. This is beautiful. Does that look amazing? Wow. Wow. It looks like it's beautiful. Original floors mm -hmm. to These? show you what it's like underneath the carpets. No, we wish there was no oh, carpets. Beautiful, huh? So I was listening to that story right there for a really long time, <laughs> and they talked about um, how they you don't usually they don't see ever faces. Um, you don't see people or only shapes and mosques. And so, as you can see, they the angels they've covered off all the faces. Um, but except one in this corner, because um, when it was a museum, they wanted to show the original what it looks like before they turned to a mosque. There are carpets are also very important to them because they have them special made just for you, just because that's what you pray on, because you go on your knees. And then the last thing I learned is that what is it? That chair thing? I don't know. Uh huh. Uh, it's off like that thing. because that's what you pray towards, and here you pray towards the southeast because that's where Mecca is. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Um, and most places you pray towards the east. Mm. So it's a little off center. Mm -hmm. That's why. Mm. That's all I learned from the tour. <laughs> <laughs> That was part of the church for sure. Oh yeah, I've seen that loved one. Vanilla, chocolate, three cat flavors each. Take it off. You like it, Ava? Mama, try it. It's like a very good sort of. The vanilla is not good. No, the top one. Mm hmm. I told you I had it. Oh, my God.
Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. I don't know how they yeah. get it that texture. Like what? Look at the Yeah. Like stretchy. Yeah, stretchy. But tasty. Mm -hmm. I so we thought today we'd go to the Blue Mosque as well because it's across from Hi Sophia, but it looks like I know they've been renovating it for a while, but now I guess it's actually closed for renovation, so you can't go see it. But the outside's beautiful. Closed ten days, ten days ago. Oh, just I missed love it. Do you know why it's called the Blue Mosque? I do. I do. Why, Dad? all the blue tiles yeah because it has it's filled with blue tiles inside mm -hmm. so people sometimes assume that it's going to be a blue mosque but it's really because it's all blue inside what is blue on the outside it is yeah like a grayish blue it's really pretty that's the obelisk yeah. ella you still have uh, probably <laughs> um see it has all the hieroglyphs on it cool i wish i knew how to read them yeah Pro. We read some and I guess Constantine took this from the um, Temple of Apollo at Delphi and we put it here and it used to have like snakes and stuff coming out of it and it used to be about three meters taller, the one behind us, the Serpentine oh. Tower. Alright, we have lunch. It's raining a little bit and we are walking to the Grand Bazaar. Luckily. It is roofed, so we shouldn't have to deal with the rain much longer. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but now the conversation is your shoes are so wet. Yeah, they're really wet. <laughs> okay, into the Grand Bazaar. huge it's hard to even tell if we've been down here before you could just get lost in it um, the only thing is that there's a bunch of people smoking cigarettes in here and it's indoors so it's just hard to enjoy right it's not, I, don't mind. I wish I thought it was a temple it's a shopping mall that's very smoky Smells good, huh, cakes? It smells like potatoes. It smells like what? Potatoes. Potatoes? It does. The boys are right, though. It does smell like potatoes. Okay, Ella. Give it a try. Kind of tastes like a potato. What are these? It tastes like a potato. I don't know if I like that. Do you think it does? It's like the weirdest textured potato. In a nutshell. Yeah, it's Where weird. Where should we learn baby potato nuts? <laughs> <laughs> we are headed to dinner. And we walked up, I think, the steepest hill in Istanbul, don't you? Yeah. Ava? Goodness gracious. Mike told us it was going to be a 16 minute walk, but he didn't tell us it was all going to be straight uphill. Right, Ellie? This sucks so much. <laughs> You're almost there. Okay. Ellie's feeling a little tired. He's still dealing with jet lag, and we had to wake him up. So he's crappy. Today we're having dinner at a Mezzi restaurant, uh, which I guess is a Turkish style restaurant where it's a bunch of small plates. You order like cold and hot appetizers. And they bring them out to show you. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Really great. They bring them on platter. Yeah. They brought like a huge platter of all I the cold ones. I thought they were going to give us all of them, and I was like, no. <laughs> so we chose artichokes, cucumbers, yogurt, and something. Uh, spicy walnuts, tzatziki, hummus. And then bread shows up. Feta. Oh, and this? they brought feta. Did tell you this? Yeah. Yeah, that's the best oh. one. Bread is good too. 
and then we order uh, a traditional drink called uh, Rocky. It's licorice. It comes out as a clear liquid, and then they pour water into it and it turns it like that powdery looking, milky look. Tastes very anisey. Yeah, very licorice. And then we also have um, a ground meat pastry, Fred Kilmery, and a uh, cheese I'm dead. And a dead and person. And we have a chimichanga. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, second full day in Istanbul. Comes to a close. Yeah. See you all tomorrow. Yeah, we're done. Star nights. Make sure to subscribe. It's right below. It's just, it's just one click.